What up guys, Miguel here of Yuga Tech, and does your PC lack essential features such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity? Well, we got you fam, and this video will be walking through some simple steps on how you can add essential features into your PC. Step 1. Determining Compatibility Before you start adding new hardware to your computer, it's important to make sure that it is compatible with your system. You can check your computer specifications to see if it has the necessary ports and hardware to support Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, and maybe infrared. Features which usually utilize a USB connection for them to work. If your PC doesn't have enough inputs and outputs, you can try finding something similar to this SATA all-in-one PC port hub, link in the description box below. This particular one fits perfectly for older PC cases with front panel compartment. If your case does not have any slots in front, you can utilize the slots in the rear and use something like this 7 port hub that adds USB 3 and Type-C ports connected via PCIe. Step 2. Choosing the right hardware Once you've determined compatibility, it's time to choose the hardware you need. There are lots of standalone adapters out there for each specific feature. But you can also find all-in-one solutions like this 2-in-1 TP-Link TX3000E Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapter that already features Bluetooth 5 and Wi-Fi 6. If you want less cables to manage with your system, this Archer TX50E from TP-Link as well is also pretty good. To install any of these, you do need to open up your system and install them via PCIe. Link in the description box. Step 3. Installing the hardware Now that you have the hardware ready, it's time to install it into your computer. This may involve opening up your computer's case and installing a new card or simply plugging in a USB adapter. Make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions to install the hardware properly. Most people would prefer purchasing a USB-enabled adapter to save the hassle. Step 4. Install the drivers or software after the hardware is installed, you'll need to, of course, install the drivers. The manufacturer should have provided a CD or a download link with the necessary drivers. Then again, most computers today don't even have a disk drive anymore, so you may want to make sure that the adapter you're getting has downloadable drivers online. Take a look at this $48 NFC writer and reader from Amazon. The description specifically says that it doesn't come with any software and needs third-party applications to work, despite the promo image having an outdated PC disk. In cases like this, you may have to rely on third-party apps for the NFC hardware to work, like this one. Talk about smart shopping, huh? Now, if you find something meant to be plug-and-play, it should automatically install the drivers as you plug in the hardware to your PC. USB-enabled hardware usually have this capability, but some may need additional software. Let's take a look at this IR receiver for PC, which utilizes a USB port. To use this specific receiver, they have a website where you can download an app which can do the programming for any of your old TV remotes lying around. Installation of the necessary drivers and software should be as easy as 1, 2, 3. But make sure to click the correct props and of course, the correct URLs. Step 5. Test the features Once the hardware and drivers are successfully installed, as usual, test each feature to make sure they're working properly. Turn on Wi-Fi and try to connect to a network. Pair your computer with a Bluetooth speaker. Test NFC connectivity with a compatible device and use the infrared to remotely control a device. In conclusion, adding these features to your PC can greatly enhance its functionality and connectivity, so you can enjoy a more versatile computing experience. So, what did you guys think of our steps in installing new PC hardware to your possibly old tower-style PC? Let us know in the comment section below. But if you found this video enjoyable or informative or educational, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see ya in the next one.